For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but want to, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father, in the name of Jesus, amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, with evidence of speaking in tongues, for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus, by the will of Jehovah God, amen. Congratulations. Go to lutgradionetwork.com, click on the link, find a church, get baptized with water, take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Until then, we got Tell everyone you got saved on LUTG Radio, WKKP Digital Broadcasting. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You just got saved. Your name has been written in the book of life. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. Jesus is happy. Amen, amen. Stick with me. Although we have technical difficulties, stick with me anyway. Jesus is sticking with you, and I want everybody to have an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ into their heart. Don't give up on him, because he sure ain't giving up on you. Amen, amen. Let's give God some praise. Here's Rory Green and Kingdom Cry. Only you can satisfy me. Don't forget, read your Bible beginning with the book of John, chapter 1. Don't miss. Read some. Read your Bible every day. And JulieTrue.com. Her music is healing music. It is anointed. God has blessed her and many of people through her music. So listen to it. Healing music by Julie True. It's on JulieTrue.com. Put it beside your children's bedside. Put it beside a sick one's bedside and let it play continuously over and over again. You can also have some healing scriptures that are uh, on audio. Just read them into a, a audio, into your phone, and play it over and over again. Amen. I'm working on putting all that stuff on my website. It's just going to take me a minute. But I'm giving you the resources for where they are right now. JulieTrue.com. Here's Rory, Rory Green and Kingdom Cry. Only you can satisfy me, Lord.
Jesus. Amen. Don't forget, today is Fortune Wednesdays, and we ain't forgot. We got a poem coming up for you right after this. This is Stronghold, Minister Mike Rose and his band, Stronghold Band. The Stronghold Band, turn your faith to the true, uh, to the one. Turn your faith to the one. All right, there we go.
everybody, you are listening to LUTG Radio, WKKP, Digital Broadcasting with Kathy Brox as your host. That's me, y'all. Hey. <laughs> I told you we got some poetry for you. The poems that I'm reading are all mine because you haven't uh, called up and said, hey, Kathy, I'm going to read my poems on your show. Hey. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, this one, I read this one before, but I just want to read it again because there's a lot of people that are suffering. Uh, and uh, I see a lot of pe- people with some serious issues and they got some great faith. So I just want to encourage you. Uh, this is based on John 8 and 12 and uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18. But John 8 and 12 says, Jesus said to the people, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't be stumbling through darkness because you will have the light that leads to light. This is a true statement. It's not just a true statement, but it's actually it's actually true, true. 100% true. Seen it myself. 100% true. Not just because I've seen it, because it is. And he backed it up by showing it to me. When you get when you get saved, you are planted on the road to salvation. The only way to get off that road is if you leave it yourself. Feel me? The way to stay on it is to stick with God, read his word, pray, talk to him, keep seeking after him. That's how you stay on it, and it leads you straight to Jesus. Without a doubt. Saw that myself too. In heaven. When I was there. All right, so here we go. This one is from uh, Breath of God, and this one is number seven, and it's called Light. It goes like this. O oh, light of heaven, rain down on me. Loosen the ring of torment that encapsulates my body. Make free an arm I can raise as a sign of praise. Let my legs move at my will. Wrist steady to lift my own weight. O oh, light of heaven, rain down on me. New eyes I can see, smooth new skin, free of grease burns. And belt marks, skid marks of fingernails fade my hairless epidermis. To see the regret of wrong turns on my tattered feet. Cute short hair, not enough to draw in the gaze of scattered love. O oh, light of heaven, rain down on me. I hear the wind. On the blows that stole the birds chirp at my window sill. Lust tips that rolled around in my ear. The promise of the next hour. Definitely no tomorrow. Wisdom of no age, just unloved, not coached. Before baby and me, bid I not be. Two opposites, bittersweet. Lift the confusion of it all. O oh, light of heaven, rain down on me. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Obscurity has no veil. Arrows pointed at my heart. Fellows gorge my unrest. Pungent aroma fills my breath. A glimmer stands in the back of my mind. Smoke of incense fills the halls. A name I am, one you call. O light of God, rain down on me. This poem, a lot of people just see the poem as, O light of God, rain on me. I just want the, the glory of God raining on me. True, you do. But you got to remember, look at the, when you listen, when you look at poetry, look at all the lines. Not just the ones that are easy to understand, but dig a little bit deeper. This is some people with some real issues. A lot of y'all think, oh, that's all her, that's all her. Nope. Some of it's me, but uh, a lot of it, you know, the other parts of it are other people. Things that I've seen with other people, things that people have told me, things that have happened to them. I go, whenever you go, you go to the doctor, you see people that are in crutches and wheelchairs and people that only have one arm that works and the other limbs don't work. Some of them have their arms tied to their body because the doctors don't want them to injure that arm. Even though it's not working, the muscles are not working, the hand itself is good and they don't need to cut it off. So they don't want it to get damaged in a wheelchair. These are people that have had strokes. And at first they were walking along doing good and all of a sudden they had a stroke. Nothing works. 
Keep praying for them. Keep saying, thank you, Jesus, for their healing. Whoever they are, thank you, Jesus, for, fill in the name, healing. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And like, how do you know? What do you know about that? Your limbs work fine. They didn't at one time. Even as a kid, I had a lot of issues, which weren't mine, but I was just being attacked even as a little kid. Because evidently, the enemy saw my future and said, uh-oh, she'll be telling people about Jesus. Can't have that. So he tried with everything he had to stop me. Stop me from talking. Kid you not. For a long time. I, I was a talker. As a kid, I was a talker. But things happened. And then for a long time, I did not speak. Don't know what it was. I could see everything around me. But did not speak. Would not speak at all. Period. I just remember one day in the car with my grandmother. And with my mom. We were driving somewhere. And I began to read. I think we were going south somewhere. And I saw a Jay's uh, potato chip truck. And I read on the truck. Can't Jays can't stop eating them. That's that was the first phrase that I remember. That that's when I began to talk. That's when I came back to myself. It's so funny. I had saw I saw my mom. It's so weird. I saw her driving, and I saw my grandmother, and it was dark. But my father had been praying for me, and he would not stop praying. He kept praying and he kept praying and he kept believing and he kept believing. And these folks were praying. And all of a sudden, I just began to talk. And then never shut up. <laughs> never shut up after that. I just remember something was lifted and I could speak now. So if you have a child or someone and they just stop talking, they stop communicating with you for whatever reason, Pray for them and keep on praying for them. I wasn't being defiant. I really wasn't being defiant. I was being attacked and oppressed spiritually. I was not being defiant. That's not my nature. I was not. I was being attacked spiritually. I can tell you spiritually because when my eyes awoke, I came back to my body. Me meaning I was, the oppression had lifted. So... That's what I remember. That's what I remember. And thank God for praying grandmothers and praying mothers and praying fathers. So keep on praying. I tell you, they are sleeping or they are fighting the best way they know how. The best way you can help them is to continue to pray for them. We got one more poem for you. I'm going to play some more music. This one is called auspicious. And auspicious means to be fortunate, to be to be favored. That's what the word auspicious means. You're like, Kathy, did you always know that word? I did. Lots of words we know from college and school and stuff, and sometimes we forget. So I ain't got no shame in looking up a word. If you come in and you tell me something and you use some big word that I don't understand, oh, don't think I'm ignorant. I may have forgotten a word. I don't think I'm stupid now, but I sure ain't got a problem with pulling out a dictionary in front of you. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I be wanting to know. I pull out a dictionary in front of you. Or I even say, hey, what that mean? You using that word, what that mean? I ain't trying to put you on blast. It's because I don't understand. Because usually when somebody uses a big word, you can understand it by the other words that they put in around that word. But when they don't put in identifiers or adverbs, it makes it more difficult to understand the word. So, if you don't use the correct words to explain it, then I'm gonna ask you what that means. I don't, you know, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna pull out my phone with a dictionary on it. And look it up. How you spell that? <laughs> Auspicious is spelled A U S <laughs> P I C I O U S. Auspicious, and it means fortunate, favored. And it goes like this. This is from uh, I Ain't Lukewarm by me, Kathy Brox. Auspicious. Let me tell you how awesome my God is. He picked me up from despair. He brushed me off. He held me close. Then he showed me just how much he loved me. 
Then he gave me the challenge of seeking him always. He blessed me with kindness and mercy. He gave me joy in times of turbulence. He made me steady. He gave me peace. He made me whole. Auspicious. Amen. Favorite of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know who's favorite of the Lord most? Children. Oh, Jesus loves them some kids. They're like sponges. They believe. And if you tell them, to, if you teach them a prayer, they will repeat that prayer. It's just like it's rapid. Boom. I know how to pray. Let me pray. Let me show you. I know how to pray. Let me show you. This is what I learned. I learned how to pray. <laughs> they will pray over their food. They will pray for the sick. You ain't even got to tell them they see somebody sick. I learned a prayer. Let me t let me pray for you. Jesus will heal you. And they believe. <laughs> these children have favor with the Lord. What do you mean these children? All children. Man and women, you know, grown folks too. But God has a special place in his heart for kids. They learn quickly. Very easily. So teach your children to pray. Amen. Amen. Here's Skylar Kalen in my head. Take me to the novel I just read. Show me that my dreams aren't just misled. Where the hugs and kisses aren't just wishes in my head Take me to the novel I just read Show me how a fairy tale plays out Take me through that place I've heard about Where time stands still and the moment's real Amen, amen, amen. Normally we would do the altar call right about here, but we got another song for you, and then we'll get the altar call in about seven minutes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Here's Tay Spears, the gospel. Yeah, uh, okay. Let's get it. 
Wait a wait a yeah. radio, radio. We got a problem in plenty churches, I notice. Yeah. They got nice choirs, they bands can put on a show in. They got nice speakers, they congregation is growing. They preach a good message, the gospel they not showing. Yeah. While we shouting whenever the preacher talk about how to get money. Money come if we shouting out. Nothing talking about the way Jesus came down and walked it out. They content with death and don't want to be near the Father's house. But David was not concerned with none of that. He was content with dying and being where the Father's at. He found glory in God, not money or a check. Wasn't living for this life, but he was living for the next. And him he rest through the test when cats we even at his neck. But that was back then. See, times has changed a lot, I guess. We got bills and our credit scores is a mess. We still in love with God. We just want more to be blessed. But I check. It's not about our needs, but being a blessing to him. See, that's the reason why we breathe. Obedience to God is the reason we so see. Not to be blessed, we blessed he chose us for his team. It seems the church now is all about greed. We use salvation as a means to get green. No one talks about what the gospel really means. We really in trouble, need God to intervene. So let me reiterate, gospel's all that it takes. Jesus Christ lived the perfect life and died for our sake. Blood dripped to save man Rose in three days then Conquer sin Now you and I can be born again Nothing new man Back in the day this was true then God's perfect plan to bring about a reunion The crazy thing is even through Earth's existence The gospel's still enough to save man from their condition J. Wade always Tay Spears. The gospel gotta be enough, man. At the end of the day, that's all you need. It's Jesus being faithful to complete the inside job.
Alrighty, praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Jesus loves you 100%. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. You know, sometimes sin feels like gas moving around in your stomach is very uncomfortable. It does. Or sometimes it, it feels like like a bad headache that won't go away. But I'm telling you, it will. Through Jesus, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Shuck it ducking down. Jesus, all the way. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. A lot of times when I go to the laundromat, I run into prostitutes. I'm like, oh, okay, prostitutes got to clean their clothes too. I hate it when some of them try and back their butt up on me. It, it grosses me out. It's one chick. Uh, some people just won't, won't want you to touch them or they want you to come off. Well, ask me to pray for you. Don't put your booty on me. I, I don't know what that thing is. Especially don't put it on my towels. Oh, my Lord. Okay, I'm having a flashback. <laughs> this prostitute <laughs> last time. Oh, a couple a couple months ago, I was at the laundromat. And, I, you know, I guess she wanted me to pray for or was trying to get me to be interested. I don't know. Um, the interested thing is kind of gross. Praying for her, I would have done. I had already prayed for her, but I guess, she, I don't know if she knew it or not. I have no idea. But anyway, she was backing her butt up, uh, and she was getting close to my towels. And I'm like, oh, hey, yo. <laughs> now, I believe in Jesus, and I believe in him, and I believe that any disease or virus that touches my body dies instantly. And in that belief, I believe that you should never put your booty on somebody else's towels. They just washed them. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. You walking around town with your draw, with your pants all the way down, your drawers showing your booty out. Please don't put your booty on somebody's stuff. That's gross. This is why folks are always telling me pull your pants up. Wear a shirt long enough so your booty ain't hanging out. Yeah, Kathy, what they got to do with salvation? The way you live, <laughs> the way you live, common courtesy. You don't need to be saved to show people common courtesy. Common courtesy is a very minute form of love. You learn this growing up. Common courtesy. A little bit of love saves a life. You don't need to be saved to show common courtesy. That's called common sense. Common sense. And so you need salvation so that you'll be forgiven of all your sins. That's what you need salvation for. I, I was in a laundromat another time. This guy was there and he had about... I don't know, looked like 20 or 30 washers. He had a lot of clothes and he claimed, all these are mine. I'm thinking, wow, you're pretty tiny for such a big guy. <laughs> Nobody cares whose clothes those were. They just thanked the high heaven. And he was talking about Jesus and what he could do. And you could tell he's frustrated. And, you know, people are saying, you know, he's really mean. And I'm like, wow, his reputation precedes him. <laughs> Evidently, he was known from the area, and I guess he has to be that way for all the kids that he's trying to raise. But when you're raising that many people and helping that many people, love first. You don't have to scream and yell at people. You don't have to be mean to people. You can be stern without screaming and yelling and being mean to people. Because when you're mean to them, they may do what you say in front of your face. But when you're not there, they don't care. You want them to heed your wisdom no matter where they're at and whether you're there or not. Love will get you there. Love will love would allow them to say, hey, I can follow what this person told me, what this authority is, because I know they love me. How do I know? Because they show it. They're not always screaming and yelling at me. When they want to talk to me, they talk to me calmly. And then that shows them that, hey, when I want to talk to people, I can talk to people calmly. See, a little bit of love, a little bit of common courtesy will take you a very long way. And your reputation will go as, hey, that person loves. That person is a blessing to those people or that person is a blessing to anyone they come in contact with. That's the reputation you want to have. Like Jesus. When is the last time you heard anybody say, Jesus Kicked my butt, blankety blank. All I did was leave the sheet untucked from the mattress. That don't sound like Jesus do it. One here. When was the last time you heard somebody say, 
Jesus told me he wasn't going to heal me. Period. You never heard that. Jesus never said that. Never said it. Jesus is, he is unconditional love. His love is for you and for me 100%. And in that love and outside of that love and all around that love, he simply asks you to believe him, receive the free gift of salvation, love your brothers and sisters, love him, and love those that are unsaved. You get the common denomination, love. And he's telling you can do all things through this. He did. He did. Love. 100%. And he, it's so funny how he said even the heathens know how to give good gifts. How much more than the Lord? Even heathens know how to give good gifts. So if heathens know how to give good gifts, they also know how to love. They do. So you can give common courtesy. You really can. And then you can also receive the gigantic gift of salvation. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's receive this free gift right now. It's yours for the having. Don't think that just because I said you can love and you can show common courtesy without receiving salvation. That's a true statement. But to get the fullness of love that God has provided for you, you do need salvation. So don't get it twisted and don't twist my words. Jesus loves you and he wants you in his kingdom. Receive his full gift, not half-heartedly. And don't go around saving people in Jesus' name without yourself being saved. Don't go around healing people in Jesus' name without you being saved. Because he's going to tell you when you die, I never knew you. That's what he's going to tell you. I came across a lady a few days ago, about a week or so ago, and she called herself healing in Jesus' name, but didn't know none of Jesus' scriptures. None. Not a one. She didn't know Jesus wept. She didn't know Jesus saved the world. She didn't know nothing. She didn't know Genesis. She didn't, I mean, the word Genesis. She didn't know Jack. But she's going around healing in Jesus' name, calling herself a Christian. Healing in Jesus' name, doing something, giving people headaches. She gave me a headache. Jesus is going to tell her whether that worked for other people or not. It may have. He's going to tell her, you did these things in my name, but you yourself did not give your heart to me. Go away from me. I never knew you. The word knew means intimate, meaning I was never intimate with you. You never gave me your heart, therefore I was not a part of you. You feel me? Even though his word is written on our heart, she never received that gift. She never opened up her mouth to receive it. So if you don't receive, then you are not a part of him. You must be a part of him to receive his full gifts. You must be. Otherwise, he'll tell you when you get to heaven, he'll judge you and say, I never knew you. Your punishment is hell. That's what he's going to say. It's in the Word. It's in the Bible. Get saved. Trust me on this. If you don't trust me for anything else, trust me when I tell you salvation is for you and it is a requirement to get into heaven and to stay there. You feel me? You want to go there to be judged for your righteousness, not judged for sin. All right? Let's get saved right now. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but want to, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 
Make me a light in a dark place. And from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, Find a Church. Get baptized with water. Take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Tell everyone you know that you got saved on LUTG Radio, WKKP, Digital Broadcasting with Kathy Brocks. Amen, amen, glory to God. Congratulations. The Lord has witnessed your testimony of faith, your confession of faith, and he wrote your name down. The angels are writing your name down in the book of life. They're rejoicing. Jesus is happy. Congratulations. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Amen, amen. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Amen. Salvation is for every Jew and Gentile. That's all of us, y'all. Thank you, Lord, for a successful show. The many so saved by the word of God, now covered in the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. We believe you love us and receive your love, Lord. You be glorified in all the earth. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Amen. Have a good day, y'all. Remember, Jesus loves you. Read your Bible every day. Start off with the book of John, chapter 1. Don't miss. Said it's a real good day to get some going, to plant a good seed, to get some going. We all gonna make it. This some knowing. We gon' be alright. I'm now clear for everybody to hear. Ain't no reward without risking. Ain't nothing to fear. All you need is faith. All you need is fight. If you just stay within the script, you be quite alright. I just grabbed the mic and nails flipped the beat. And when we brought it all together, it was something you need. Every word to speak, be a word from soul. And every night before I sleep, I pray I conquer my goal. Told my brother no foes, I played the hand I was dealt. To the haters laying low, hoping the secret I melt. I'm immune to the doubt, and I'm with Keller the fools. I'm going in with no regard, cause I got nothing to lose. I was given the plan, perseverance and power. So I'd be damned if I retreated to a corner and coward. Man, you must be insane, my passion can't be contained. And I ain't asking for a lot, just trying to get in the game. Listen up if you will, I'm trying to tell you what's real. Only way to see a better day is up in your zeal. But you want me to kill the same woman you beat. Ain't you really kind of tired of being viewed as weak? Why do the beat when it's yours to have? Thanks to all the ones before that open doors and paths. I absorb the bad to be replaced with good. I'm trying to do the best I can to help save my hood. It's a real good day to get some growing. To plant a good seed to get some growing. Y'all gon' make it. This I'm knowing. We gon' be alright. It's a real good day to get some growing. To plant a good seed to get some growing. Y'all gon' make it. This I'm knowing. We gon' be alright. Yeah, it's the perfect day for you to get it together. Know you're tired of doing bad, knowing you can do better. If your man's locked down, won't you send him a letter? If your baby mama need it, go give her some cheddar. Good deeds equal good seeds, sprouting up good trees. Many second guess, but this is exactly what the hood needs. A hard dose of the truth, I'm screaming from the booth. If you ain't trying to make a difference, go on tie the noose. Your life yours to make, you live, lose, and learn. Just know the path that you take determines what you earn. So plan firm and keep your grind steady. So when your chance come around, you be getting ready. You only live once, that's a true fact. So do the best before you go, ain't no coming back. DSR, your team supreme, it's Ray Kells. We're trying to conquer the scene. Stress free, no worries. Sun shining when I wake up in the morning. I'm trying to focus, keep my mind up in the morning.